So for this page, this view page, we'll try a different design approach. What we'll do is to go to bootstrap.com, click on examples, and um, pulls up these example pages. So this is version 4. Um, I think uh, we're working with version 3, so we'll click on it. If you're working with 4, you should select 4 too. And um, click on getting started. We're looking for sample bootstrap pages that we can copy. And uh, if we're somewhere down here, if you scroll down here, you'll start seeing some example pages. We'll look for the one that most likely re resembles what we're looking for. Um, for me, I've already seen one that looks cool for me. Um, this one can represent our company and this one can represent the projects under that company. Same with this one. And um, this other one. Okay, so we're just going to have to choose one of them. So this looks cool to me. So we'll take this. So we click on it. And once it opens up like this, this is what it will look like. This is the company name, this is the company description. And then uh, this will be the project. All right, so what we're going to do is to copy this. So you right click on the page and view page source. Then from there you can copy. Or you just right click, inspect elements. In inspect element, we want to copy everything inside container. Yes, everything is right here. So we're going to, we're just going to right click. Edit as HTML. It gives us everything we're looking for. So we will select all and copy. Oops. Select or control A on my keyboard, control X and it's gone. So everything is gone. Alright, so if we come to our view page, we can now paste everything. And once we do, uh, we can start removing some things like this. This is the, the title. We can remove the title. And the number of other things we need to fish out. Alright, so if we go to our view page right now, I will refresh. We should see something cool but um, as you can see it's not having the CSS and just like the other time we'll quickly add the CSS for it so if we scroll up we'll say at extent it extends uh, a file in a layout folder called app and then uh, in the section at section a section called content that we named content of course, you can name your con uh, sections or anything. Then at the bottom, we just end section. So we don't need this footer for any reason. I, I should just take it. Then at end section. So this solves a problem. We will refresh it and see whether it works this time. Well, 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 this looks cool, doesn't it? So for me, this looks cool. What we'll do is to change this and a whole lot of things here all right so we'll have to change marketing stuff to the name of the company so um we just come here and uh, where is the marketing stuff this is it so in laravel remember you can just um, get a value by just saying uh company name because we've already passed it in from um all the contents of company we've passed it in from our controller so company name should work for us and uh if we refresh, it's reloading. You can't see it, but I can see that it's reloading. And then there's an error. I will try and fix it. All right, the reason is that in our query, we actually have a mistake in our query. Um, there are two ways we can write this query. The first one is this way, the way we've just written it. Then we can now say that um, we are looking for the first occurrence of where id matches whatever the number is given if we do that our problem will be resolved that is one way to find one content 
as you can see Berkshire Hathaway app. Our problem is resolved. Another quick way to do that is let me just comment this out. Duplicate it first, then comment it out. And instead of where, we're just going to say find. Just going to say find this guy. So find a uh, company ID. So this sorts our problem. If we refresh. As you can see, it's still the same thing. It works well. So if you're going to use find, then you don't need to specify that it's the first one. But if you're going to use where, you have to specify it, all right? So don't make that mistake in yours, all right? So uh, this basically pretty much sorts our problem. And we see Berkshire Hathaway. The next thing we have to do is to enter the description. And then we're done for this particular video. So we'll enter the description. I know by now you know exactly how we're going to do it. We're just going to open and close this double uh, bracelet. Then we're going to say a company. And we're going to say description. And guess whether it solves it or not. So it solves it. Cool. So as you can see, this is the company description. Do we really need this button? I don't think we need this button for anything. All right. Um, we might need buttons here to edit later on, but I think this is okay. So um, what we're going to do temporarily is to comment this out. I'm going to comment this out temporarily. Oops, this is blade in blade template. You don't oh you don't comment this out normally, but um let's just use the normal HTML command and see if it works. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, then we have to comment it out the blade way. Alright, so we have this, and these are supposed to be the, the projects under this company. So we're gonna get the list of projects in the next video and make sure that they appear here. Alright, see you in the next video.